Brown. I'm Senior Vice President with Gooch and Housego's Instrumentation and Life Sciences Group. Uh, today I'd like to introduce you to a couple of new products we have. Uh, the first is this completely self-contained portable handheld spectrophotometer. Uh, the unit is ideal for looking at uh, different types of materials, doing color truthing, etc. Um, as I mentioned, it's self-contained, so the display and the interface are built right into the instrument, uh, this uh, really nice color touchscreen display. Um, you have a choice of different illuminants, about eight different kinds. Um, you simply select it from the touchscreen display. Um, there are uh, two viewing um, uh, angles built in, 10 degrees and 2 degrees, which are the standard for a CIE uh, viewing angle. Um, and then you can choose the different types of coordinate systems for the chromaticity um, values. So CIE, XYZ, Lab Love, um, and then also RGB, uh, amongst others. Um, in addition to the chromaticity coordinates, of course, uh, you can look at the spectral profile. So there's a spectral profile window in here. And we'll give you a closer look in a second. Uh, we'll do some sample measurements as part of this demonstration. So, uh, and one more final uh, really cool feature of this is that there's a built-in camera. So you can uh, hit the corner of it, um, of the screen to get the camera turned on, and then you can basically make sure you're seeing the right thing or measuring the right thing um, when you're doing it. Uh, the other item is this uh, NYX sensor, which is again a uh, colorimeter. It's a very small, uh, compact device, as you can see. Uh, fits in the palm of your hand. Um, this uh, functions over Bluetooth interfaces with a smartphone uh, or tablet, and uh, the application you can download for free off the internet. And uh, this unit has again built-in um, built-in illuminant. Uh, it's not a spectral instrument, but it provides fairly accurate measurements of uh, color for, again, materials. Uh, very compact unit, uh, fairly low cost, so um, you can buy many of these units for production line testing. Uh, we recommend pairing it with one of our high-performance spectroradiometers like the OL770 or the ARIES unit uh, as sort of a gold uh, standard unit to compare it against or use as a reference instrument. Uh, I'll have uh, some demonstrations uh, shortly. Uh, you can take a closer look at these things in action, um, and I think you'll be impressed. Okay, so a close-up look at our spectrophotometer instrument. Um, it's fairly straightforward, uh, beautiful color touchscreen display, and it even comes with its own calibration standard. Uh, to perform a calibration, um, you simply choose the calibration setting. If it's out of cal, um, it will automatically uh, instruct you to do that, but uh, this unit is actually calibrated. But we'll do a uh, full calibration procedure just so you can see how easy it is to do. Um, it instructs you to put it on the white calibration target, um, press the measurement button, and it will undergo the uh, procedure for the white calibration side. And once that's complete, it will tell you to switch to the black, black calibration standard. And then you do the same thing, press it measurement on the other side. Once that's complete, um, your unit is calibrated and ready for operation. Uh, it will go back to the home screen um, and then you can proceed with any kind of measurement you want to take. Um, I'm going to just take a quick measurement of this uh, pink sheet of paper and you can see it's reported the uh, lab uh, color space coordinates. You can choose uh, different color spaces uh, viewing angles. Uh, I just switched it from 2 degrees to 10 degrees there. Um, and if you want to change the uh, color space, you have a choice of seven different color spaces um, on this other screen. Um, and then uh, you can also choose your illuminant. Um, we're set to D65. Um, yeah, but you have a choice of eight different uh, illuminants, illuminant A, C, etc., uh, which you can go to. Um, and then if you want to take a look at the spectrum for that uh, sample, you simply press this down switch and go to the other page. If you want to discard the measurement, you press the uh, little uh, delete um, garbage can or trash can. Um, one other interesting feature that's built in this unit is that you can uh, take a look at what you're measuring through this little camera. So you press the little camera icon and it shows you what's being sampled. 
So that's our spectrophotometer. The measurement with a NIC sensor is quite easy. Um, you simply place the device on top of the sample you want to take a measurement of. Um, you'll want to download the application uh, from whatever online store, uh, your um, smartphone or uh, tablet device um, references. And then once you're uh, loaded up, you want to connect to the device. So you press Connect to Mix Pro at the bottom of the um, application. And there you go, uh, you're connected. You select that device. You see we have very good signal on the Bluetooth. You select the device and then it connects to that device. Um, and then you simply press Scan with Nix Pro. And then uh, you'll feel it vibrate and then the measurement will be taken. Um, as you can see, it reports the color in RGB, CMYK, hexadecimal, uh, and CIE lab. Um, if you want to have those results sent to you, you simply uh, type in your email address after you hit the envelope icon and then send that to yourself. Um, and that's it. Okay, so that's uh, basically it. Um, if you'd like to know more, just visit our website ghinstruments.com and there you can find information on both of these products as well as contact information for us. Um, and uh, you can always call us um, at country code 1, area code 407 uh, 422 -3171, and we'll be glad to help you out. Uh, looking forward to hearing uh, from you about your interest in these products as well as the many different applications you can come up with for them. Thanks.